If you've watched any of our content, it's no secret by this point that we love retro games. And Castlevania is definitely one of my favorites that I go back to every now and then just to romp through with hopes of actually one day finishing Castlevania II Simon's Quest. We're also huge fans of indie games, especially the ones that bring back the nostalgia of our childhoods, and I'm a sucker for pixel art as well. That's why when we found out the team at Red Deer Games was publishing a game that was inspired by the NES and Super Nintendo versions of Castlevania, we had to check this out. Spoiler alert, this game is awesome, and here's why. My name's Craig with Out of Control Games, and this is our review of Crip Stalker for the Nintendo Switch, Steam, and other platforms. So, full disclosure, we were not sent a code this time. In fact, we bought it on sale for $2, and this game's gonna stay on sale on the Nintendo East Shop until April 12th. We'll go up to $7. It's actually not a new game either. It's been available on Steam for a few years, and you could purchase it there for three. So, why are we talking about it now? Well, it just came to Switch two weeks prior to this video, and it's an incredible game that could use a lot of love and is extremely affordable. At first, this game looks like Castlevania. The story is very much Castlevania as well. An ancient evil wakes up every hundred years or so, and it's up to the Crypt Stalkers Guild to go to work. Oh, and the gameplay? Very Super Castlevania-ish. You not only attack with a whip, but much like in Super Castlevania, you can use it to latch onto hooks and swing. So far, whip, check. Bosses that drop orbs, check. Sub weapons, yes, actually it's different types of ammo. That's right, you have a gun for a sub weapon and you pick up different types of ammos just like in Contra. Are you sold yet? Well, if not, what if I told you this game features six main levels with four stages each, then 18 challenge stages with achievements and two more bonus games packed in. That's correct. There's a lost sequel included in a Game Boy mode. Both games are drastically different from the first. Also, in case you're wondering if this game is hard, well, it's definitely is a classic NES, take your time, learn the levels, and try again type of game. While the main campaign does have a casual mode, the reward is truly clearing it on classic difficulty. That said, the lost sequel gives you nine lives to start with, as well as the Game Boy mode, which plays like Castlevania Legends, and you're going to need all the lives you can get. Especially since the Lost sequel features the same amount of levels as the main game, six with four stages each, and the handheld version is four main levels with four stages as well. And bosses are really thought out as well. And while we don't want to spoil anything for you, every enemy and boss feels like a homage to Castlevania's past. So what do we love and not love about this? Well, really, we don't have anything negative to say at all about this game. The only complaint that we actually had was we found the boss patterns a little easy once you got the hang of it, including the final boss, but that's typical NES classic Super Nintendo 16-8-bit era fashion. Well, newcomers to the retro genre could be turned off by the difficulty. Fans and those of us that grew up with these types of games will love this package. This game is faster than classic Castlevanias, and you can control your jump in mid-air, something you couldn't do in Castlevania 1 through 3. Also, I wasn't expecting the ammo mechanic for your sub-weapon to change how you think about attacking enemies and tackling enemies from a distance. Overall, this game has a lot going for it, and if you've never played a classic NES Castlevania title, this is a fantastic place to start. With three main games completed, several challenges done, and a few achievements unlocked, when will we end up reading this? Well, this, my friends, is a Girl Scouts cookie thin mint. That's right, it is perfect. You want as much as you can when you have it in front of you, and then you want to keep some later in the freezer to pull out whenever you just like rave it. This is a perfect game. And I know it's 9 out of 10 on Steam and other platforms, and it deserves it. The team at Sinclair Strange did a fantastic bang up job. And special thanks to Red Deer Games for bringing this to the Switch. It's an awesome, awesome time, and you were doing yourself an injustice for not paying $2 for this. Heck, even if you don't pay $2, if you miss a sale, it's worth it at the full price of 7 You're getting three games for the price of one. We can honestly just gush and gush and gush over this game, and we'd love to do a live stream of it for you guys some later. 
But speaking of that, check out our live streams whenever we end up doing them. We're going to try to do more of those in classic games just like this. And we hope that you like these retro issue reviews of indie games and titles like this. If you want more of it, just let us know in the comments. Or if you play Crypt Stalker, tell us how awesome it is and what you thought of it. My name's Craig with Out of Control Games, and we know that life, kids, work, family, all of it just gets out of control sometimes. Don't let your game be.